Hello and welcome back to Dollar Store Crafts! So today's Dollar Store Craft is, I doubt, something I made up. I feel like somebody's probably already done this before. I'm not saying this has never been done before. I'm saying I've never personally seen it, so I'm just kind of making it up as I go along. But what I want to do today is like a mosaic but using paper. So I bought all this construction paper and I'm going to cut it up into little bits and make some mosaics using just construction paper. Well, I guess not just construction paper. I bought some, you know, fun things to help with the craft. First of all, I bought this coloring book because I figured, you know, it would basically give me some lines to fill in instead of just doing it all by myself and I thought that might be fun. I got a little cake coloring book because like the grown-up ones that are all like these fancy butterflies and flowers and everything, they were so small it was gonna be too much. I also got myself a tiny little canvas. Hopefully what I do on this one turns out good because what a fun little canvas. And then the last thing I got was a frame and I figured I could take the insert out, turn it around and then put it in my mosaic on the back of the insert and then I'd have it nice and framed. So basically I have a coloring book for practice and then I have two other more permanent type things. Also, I got scissors from the dollar store, so I stopped using my good fabric scissors on this kind of stuff. And I also got glue sticks. There was a pack of four glue sticks. Because I don't know if this tacky glue is going to work for this, so instead I got the glue sticks. But I think all that's left to do now is just to get started making some art. So my goal for this one was really just to layer as many spikes as I could. I really just kind of wanted to get a feel for the materials, which sounds super silly. But honestly, since you're dealing with dollar store products, sometimes they can be kind of weird. Sometimes they might not work very well. And like this quote unquote construction paper is super thin. It's almost like just regular print paper that's just colored. So I also originally wanted to do both of the sea urchins on this page. But I also didn't want to spend all my time working on this one page. I wanted to get to the canvas and also the picture frame. So I ended up just doing the one. I wish I had saved some of the blues for afterwards and mixed it in with the purples better. But I mean, it still looks good the way it is. I mean, I like it well enough. It's definitely not my favorite, but it's okay. So this is what I did for my first attempt at this. Um, I'm not gonna say I love it, but I do think it's pretty neat. I like the texture. I went with the sea urchin because I figured I could actually have the most fun with it. The rest of them are just kind of so big and blocky and this one had interesting points and interesting shapes. I was going to do them both, but I don't want to use up all my paper. And you know, this isn't exactly a mosaic. This is more of a finishing the coloring book using paper, which I might do later on in my own free time. But I feel like a mosaic is more like, you know, a picture made out of little tiny pieces. And I figured with something like a canvas, the white could be the Mod Podge in the background. So I think I'm going to move on to the canvas first and the picture frame last. So with the canvas, I really wanted to do something that reminded me of like those stained glass pictures of the saints that they have in all the churches. And I was really having trouble deciding, you know, what I wanted to do a stained glass picture of. And then I remembered, behold, my muse. Now I didn't exactly have all the right colors to do this. For example, I didn't have a tan and I didn't have a gray. So I replaced the gray with like this light green. And I added way more blue into his costume because all these tiny lines on it are really hard to see. So I started out just sketching it the best I could. Now I am not an artist. I just kind of did the best to copy it and I added a bunch of detail and I don't even know why. I should have known I was just going to be gluing paper over it so it wasn't going to matter. But I sketched him out and gave him his little frowny face that he's making on the little Lego figurine. I added in some of the detail and made sure he had his beautiful horns and I even gave him his little staff. And then afterwards I just took one color at a time and started gluing them on in the appropriate places. I definitely got better as I went along. I started out with the horns and you can see that they overlap kind of weird and that none of my pieces fit quite right. But as we go on, I started to kind of figure it out. And I think that Certain parts, like the cape especially, look really good. I think his face is a mess. <laughs> I'm not sure how you do faces and mosaics properly, but I, it's not good. I'm not gonna lie. However, that being said, I do kind of like the way this one turned out. It's not bad for a second attempt. I don't think the glue is gonna last very long on the canvas, but still, I like the overall look of it.
This last piece is going to be the one that goes in the picture frame, so I decided I was going to have to do something different. At first I was planning on like sketching something out, like having a plan, like doing maybe a landscape or something. But then I decided I would just go ahead and do a more abstract piece. My goal with this one was to cover the entire paper in these little tiny cutouts. And my only rule was once you picked up a piece you couldn't put it back. So basically I just rifled through the paper, picked out a piece, and then figured out where it would best fit and then glued it down. And then once it was glued down I had to move on. And then I would rifle through the paper and then I'd pick up a piece and no matter which piece I picked up I had to use that one. I think this led to like a really awesome design. And like I said I was planning on doing the entire piece, but it just, it felt right. The second to last piece it went on and I was just like, this feels right exactly where it is. So I scoured through the rest of my paper to find the last little piece that would fit exactly perfectly in the leftover spot. I'm very proud of the way this one turned out. Would anybody else like it? I don't know, but I like it a lot. So I didn't end up using nearly as much construction paper as I thought I was going to. I used like a tiny square out of one of each color and I still have a bunch of little scraps left over. But that's alright because that just means now I have a bunch of extra stuff that I can use later on. I think this was successful dollar store art. My little sea urchin might not have been the best but I think it's fun and I think it has a lot of texture to it. With this one I just thought it was funny and it didn't turn out so bad. Um, Obviously it's not great, but I just thought it was really funny and I really enjoy it. But with this one, I really like this one a lot. I already said that my goal with this one was to fill out the entire thing. It was just something about, I placed one of these last few pieces and I was like, I really like the way it looks right now. I don't know, it reminds me of like a bird, but also like a bird warrior. I don't know, it's abstract art. You can see whatever you want in it, right? I'm a little bit sad that the frame cuts off this side. I'm gonna see if there's a way I can adjust that because, you know, it's part of the piece. But yeah, I would consider this to be very successful. I had a great time and I think I made some really neat looking stuff. Everything was dollar store materials so there's a good chance it might fall apart in a week, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. I hope you all liked this video. It was a lot of fun for me to do, but I don't know if it's gonna be fun to watch me just glue paper to paper. But let me know if you liked it and also let me know if you decide you want to do this too. In total this project's like what? Less than ten dollars? And that's if you don't already have glue and scissors. But that's gonna be the end of this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next time.